IG, <clears throat> Facebook. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. <clears throat> Today is April. Damn, I ain't even realize it was April. April 10th, 2020. Happy Friday. Hopefully everyone is staying safe out there. Eugene Adams, what's going on? King Kendall, what up, fam? Hopefully everybody's staying safe. Uh, everybody keep asking me about FICO Friday, so I figured I'd hop on here. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Again, welcome IG, Facebook. King Tony, I see you, man. Queen, uh, that you need help with credit, send me a message. I'll have my team reach out to you. <clears throat> yes, I'm staying safe as well, too. Thank you, Queen. Appreciate it. My brother, King Beyond, what's going on, man? When I say brother, I mean, I mean it, too. All right. Welcome. Just Love 88. Yes. Condensed version of FICO Friday, I guess. Uh, it's Friday. We're going to talk a little bit about some FICO related things, I guess. We got Facebook. We got uh, IG up. And so a couple things for those who this may be your first time on here. My name is Will Roundtree, FICO certified credit mastery instructor. Um, Two-time author of the books, Credit is King, and full-time CEO, the shit they don't tell you. And we in the times where this is the shit they don't tell you. When you are an entrepreneur, you know, for all my business owners, I mean, this is still busy time. You know, uh, definitely I always say fortunately, because it could be, you know, uh, where we're not doing anything or not getting any business. But, you know, we've been fortunate enough. We're still been busy. Uh, and... All of that good stuff. And, you know, I really just hopped on here just to talk about a couple things that I've been getting a lot of messages on. But uh, before I hop into that, I'm extremely, extremely excited. Uh, you guys don't know how hard I've been in the lab, uh, losing my voice because I literally been talking and shooting videos for about three days in a row. A ton of content. And tomorrow afternoon. I'm dropping my 30 day do it yourself credit repair course. It's interactive. It's all videos, uh, 30 brand new videos where I'm going to be dropping a bunch of content. Really, that's going to show you guys and walk you th guys of the progression through, uh, you know, just understanding what is credit, some strategies on how to dispute your credit, uh, literally anything that you could think about. It's credit. It's the book Credit is King on steroids, except it's a course and the course is dropping tomorrow. So definitely be on the lookout It's dropping tomorrow. I'm extremely excited. Uh, and again, it's we, we're all at home. We all have some downtime. And whether you're trying to pick up a new skill set, whether you're just trying to learn some new information, whether you genuinely want to repair your credit, whatever it is you're trying to do. This course is for you. Uh, it's uh, like I say, it's a uh, it's uh, interactive. You log into your portal. I have, you know, uh, you will be able to have your kids go through it. That's really what one of the things of why I put it together because I have a lot of people who say, "Yo, I want to keep my kids busy. I want to keep them busy. I want to find something. They're getting bored and all this other stuff." And it's like, so uh, last week got with my marketing team. They was like, "Will, let's put together this credit repair." course challenge because it's something I've been meaning to do for a very long time. So definitely tomorrow it will drop. Uh, every, anybody who uh, is uh, interested in this course, make sure you drop me an emoji, a hundred emoji. I'm, I'm extremely excited. And so be on the lookout and I will make sure you guys get all of the information. Uh, can't give out the URLs or anything yet. We're getting the finishing touches, but it will drop tomorrow. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, let me see what else we have going on. Oh, uh, working on putting together a student loan webinar. <clears throat> uh, been hearing a lot of people. Haynes, what's going on? Been hearing a lot of people reaching out to me asking about, hey, we want to we want you to do something on student loans. So I'm putting together a student loan webinar. So definitely be on the lookout for that. 
Uh, been getting a lot of people asking me to do the webinar again about uh, how to build a six-figure income in the credit space, as well as, as I'm going to also be dropping a doing a webinar on how to read a credit report. I think it's something that all of us should learn how to do. Yeah, this 30-day do-it-yourself credit repair challenge is kid-friendly. It's extremely kid-friendly. Um, I mean, one of the things that I've try, tried to pride myself on is I try to give you guys the information and make it extremely digestible. And so even when I wrote my book, Credit is King, I wrote it from a standpoint to where if a high school individual picked this book up, if a middle school kid picked this book up, they would be able to digest the information. So definitely tomorrow, again, I'm dropping my 30 day do it yourself credit repair course. Like I said, I've been in a lab for the past couple of days, literally just myself locked in a room with my iPhone recording videos, sent it over to my editing team. They edit like I'm talking about like no sleep these past couple of days. So because uh, I had to make sure I got this out to the people. So definitely make sure you guys are locked in for that. Uh, also, this Sunday, we'll be going live again with my sister, Jay Starr, Jackie Starr, for those who may not be familiar with her. Uh, probably one of the world most renowned barbers in the entire world, not just the entire United States. She's Floyd Mayweather's personal barber. So we'll be going live this Sunday uh, at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So definitely make sure y'all be tuning in to that. Uh, future focus. If you didn't receive your book, please make sure you send an email. Uh, please make sure you receive uh, that you send an email or send a DM and I get you in touch with um, with everyone, uh, with the team who was going to handle that. So pretty much I just wanted to get on here because, you know, I've been seeing a lot on the Internet, speaking with people, people reaching out to me, sending DMs. And my question to you guys is that I want to know what is what are you guys using this downtime for? And. When I say downtime, not saying like we have nothing to do, but what I'm saying is that this downtime to really be able to work on ourselves. And I want you guys to be interactive. If somebody wants to hop in the chat with me, hop on here live, you're definitely more than welcome to do that. Just, you know, request. But <clears throat> I want to know what are we doing to, to what are we doing? What are we using this time for? And I say that because I've spoken to some adults. Who keep who are sending messages talking about they bored. And sometimes I want to hang up on them or just block them because it's like it's way too much we could be doing to work on ourselves to say that we're bored. First of all, no grown ass person should be saying that they bored right now. I'm gonna just keep it a hundred with y'all. We all family. This should really be the time that we're using to work on ourselves. I mean we often, you know, I always often talk to people and when we're always talking about, OK, what are you doing to work on your goals, whether it's fitness goals, financial goals, whatever the case is. And the number one thing that people always say is that, oh, I don't have time. Now is the time to do all of the things that you said that you wanted to get done. You see what I'm saying? So like right now, if fitness is one of your if fitness is one of your goals, it's no excuse that you're not working out. Now, I get it. We can't go to the gym. But, you know, if you got to, you know, walk, if you got a two story house, walk up and down your stairs, like do a couple push ups, a couple jumping jacks, like start with something. You know, are you working on your inner self? You know, meditating. You know, that's one of the things that I've been working on being consistent with. And so my schedule is extremely busy. So what I would do is as soon as I get to the office every morning, and I've been doing this probably for about the past two or three months. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I, I don't take any phone calls unless the house is on fire or somebody cutting a check. <laughs> like those are the only calls I'm taking in the morning time. That is my me time. And then uh, on my way to the office, I'm not listening to any music. I'm not listening to the radio. I'm not answering no phone calls again, unless the house is on fire, meaning like it's an issue with the business or personally, whatever. And when, when I get to the office, I take three to five minutes really just to meditate. Now, I'm not at the 30 minute mark, but I, I'm starting somewhere. 
And so I'm saying that even from a translation with anybody who is wanting to work on their physical, their fitness, changing their diet. Like I used to, I, I, talk, I was speaking with a cousin of mine the other day and I said, look, I understand you may not be able to do 30 minutes or an hour of a workout. Start with 10 minutes, you know, do 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups and 10 jumping jacks. And if that's all you can do, start, th start somewhere, you know? And so this is the thing I'm telling people, like this really should be the time that we're using to quarantine our minds, not just our physical, <clears throat> our physical self. <clears throat> Excuse me. We should be quarantining our mindset because a lot of us needed this time to recalibrate who we are. A lot of us needed this time to just take a breather. A lot of us needed this time just to get caught up on all the other stuff that we had going on in our lives. And I saw a couple of people said they've been cleaning, reading the Bible. Like, that's what I'm talking about. King Crown, what's going on? That's what I'm talking about. So, like, what are you doing? What are we doing to how are we utilizing our time? You know, I've seen a couple people getting creative with having the Zoom parties. Like, that's dope. I like that type of stuff, you know, because we're, 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 we're getting into our creative element. But please don't send me no messages talking about you bored if you're a grown ass person. Like, it's way too much that we could be doing. Picking up a book. Picking up an audio book. You know, learning a new skill set. You know, <clears throat> a lot of us have financial goals. What are you doing to position yourself to work on your financial goals? Now, I get it. Not everybody is built to be a, a, a full-time CEO or an entrepreneur. Not, everybody's not looking for an entrepreneurship lifestyle. But when I use the term full-time CEO, I'm talking about a lifestyle, meaning you're the CEO of your journey. You're the CEO of your legacy, your path, whatever, whatever that may be. And so I really just want people to really just dig deep and focus on them, focus on making others around them better, because the only way you will be able to make others happy is to work on you, whether again, that's meditating, whether that's, you know, uh, uh, working on your health, because, you know, I'll be brutally honest, you know, prior to me, you know, working on you know, my health goals and all of that stuff. Like I wasn't hundred percent happy with myself. One day I was walking past the mirror. I was like, I cannot continue to live like this. <laughs> like true story. And so I decided to take some time out and I found the time to go and change up how I eat. Like, so now, and I think somebody just posted this, uh, Ames, we have no excuse to say we don't have time period. Now, I get it. There are still some people who are on the front lines and we definitely commend you. I salute everybody who's still out there putting their lives on the line to ensure that, you know, we still get in our mail, you're, you know, delivering our food, you know, whatever, you know, you're in the medical industry. But for a great deal of us individuals who have time, time cannot be an excuse anymore. Enough with the excuses. Those who've been around me, they always hear me say, you can, you know, you can make money or excuses. You can become healthy or make excuses. You can, you know, create a different mindset or make excuses, but you can't do both. Edwin, what up, brother? It's, it's time for us to get serious, y'all. Like, I'm not sure if any of you guys watched the Revolt um, um, YouTube yesterday with Puff and a couple other people in the industry and, uh, you know, they were just talking about we as a community, we as a culture, we really need to be using this time so that when we come out of this, we're bigger, better, stronger, healthier, more financially savvy. Like we cannot have any excuses. We can't be last on the totem pole anymore. You know, we're, we're a month into this. How have you used this month to leverage yourself, to leverage this time? Again, we, 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 we can't use time as a barometer of excuses anymore. Well, I got to work. I got the kids. I got to do this. I got soccer. All that's out the door. What are you doing to work on yourself? I want everybody to really just focus on that and focus on, okay, what am I going to do to, to, to come out of this better? What am I going to do to, 
to change my situation after this. Because the last thing I want us to do is to take this experience, because this is really an experience. This is an experience. What are you going to learn from that experience? See, we've all had life experiences before. You know, I, I talk about mine all the time. You know, I, I talk about, as some may deem as failures, I, I talk about how my failures were really just experiences. And after each experience I learned, I learned something new of one, what not to do. And two, I recalibrated something that may have kind of worked going through that experience. But I said, OK, if I just do this differently, if I tweak this, I got it. So whatever your goals were, whatever it is you wanted to get more proficient at or get better at. Nolan, what's going on, King? I appreciate you, too, man. A lot. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, whatever you have going on or whatever it is that you're focused on. Let's really, really just use this time to get better. I'm telling you, it's well worth it. I tell people, when you work on yourself and you just walk with a different mindset, the air is much cleaner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you're not fighting for elbow space in the economy section of, of, of mindsets. You know, when you, ha when you have a first class mindset, you, get, you got a lot of leg room. You got a lot of elbow space. You can stretch. You can do all these things. Like life is the exact same way. It's the exact same way. So that's primarily why I got on here. You know, I really didn't have any other topics to talk about. I know a lot of people have been asking me about several different things. And there's also too, like I say, for those who just hopped on, I'm extremely excited. Tomorrow I am dropping my 30 day do it yourself credit repair course challenge. You definitely want to make sure you locked in. It is kid friendly. Uh, something that uh, again, I've been Wanted to put together, Robert, what's going on, man? Put together for everybody. Uh, my team has been on my neck. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to use this time. I'm going to lock myself in the lab. I'm going to get my iPhone. And I'm about to knock these videos out. Shot like 40-something videos in three days. You know, going through the editing and the content. I mean, it was a bunch of information going through from picking the domain, the marketing campaign, the the uh, social media ads, the Facebook ads, the graphics. I mean, I, I did it all because, you know, I got to keep my social distancing so I can't have my film crew here. Like, but that's the power of technology. And so, again, this is something that I should have been had out. You know what I'm saying? So I failed y'all, but I'm going to make this up to y'all, which is why I'm dropping this course tomorrow. So, again, that's why I say let's use this time to really focus on getting ourselves in position, whether that's financially, whether that's mentally, whether that's emotionally, whether that's, you know, whatever it is, you know, let's really work on this time. King Tony, thank you. Got some funny for my biz with the help of your team. King Kendall, what's going on, man? Yo, true story about my partner Kendall uh, out in Kentucky. Uh, appreciate that, Queen. Thank you, Princess. Uh, so Kendall, uh, been and this is this is the thing I love about people who are just patient and understand process. King came out, met me in St. Louis, drove all the way up from Kentucky. Said, King, I had to drive out just to come and meet you. And just following the strategies, not only was he able to improve his credit, we helped him bring more money back into his household because we I showed him how to refinance a bunch of things after we improved his credit then we took his business helped him get some capital and now we're about to uh put more strategies in play for him to be able to go and invest and do whatever it is he's trying to do it's all about the strategy and so this time we need to be using this time to focus on okay what is going to be my strategy after i get after we come out of this situation what time will the course begin oh, i'm gonna drop the course tomorrow it'll be like tomorrow afternoon you guys are gonna see it all over social media, the internet. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have it everywhere. So appreciate that. What what strategies do you have in play? You guys can let me know. I don't bite. What strategies do you have in play, or what strategies are you working on? So when you come out of this experience, you know exactly. Okay, I'm gonna go right, go three blocks up, and then make a left, and that's my destination. Like. 
That's how detailed and concrete your goals need to be. Period. Like I can remember when I would appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Rosa said I'm a great teacher. I appreciate that. Just think about it. I'm and I, I'm a college dropout and I'm out here teaching people. <laughs> you know, so that means a lot to me. Appreciate that. Thank you. Ames, I will definitely make this public. Okay. So um yeah, just like what strategies are you focused on? Like I can remember every goal I ever wrote down. Queen Nina, thank you. Appreciate that. Every goal I ever wrote down, I always extremely detailed. So like when I used to tell myself, yo, this is my financial goal. So let's say your financial goal is a hundred thousand a year, whatever that may be financially. You need to know exactly how much you have to make a day. So when I used to sell advertising for a, a, a company, I sold internet advertising and my goal was, okay, I want to be able to make a hundred thousand a year. I knew exactly how many, how much I had to make a month. I had broken down to how many phone calls it took me to close a deal. I knew how many, my, the average amount of talk time, like I broke it down to a T. See, I talk to a lot of people and they say, well, you know, I want to make $10 million a month. I'm like, okay, what's your goal? How, I mean, what's the plan to get there? Like no plan. Oh, I just, maybe I'll get discovered. Like life doesn't happen like that. And so I'm giving you guys some advice. When you write, when you have a goal, you need to know step by step. You need to create your system. And for those who do not know, system stands for saving yourself time, energy, and money. Saving yourself time, energy, and money. You need to have a system, a systematic process on how you're going to hit that goal. Because it's one thing to say you want to make 100000 a year. Okay, what do you have to do to get there? Because if your job pays you 40000 a year, obviously you got to make up the other 60 somewhere. So what is your plan to make an additional $40,000 outside of your nine to five to be able to get to 100,000? And it's extremely doable. I tell people all the time, making money is easy if you have the right strategies in place. And that's really the biggest thing that I'm always trying to really just encourage people like, yo, go, whatever it is you want to do, go after it. I'm telling you, like we're some of the most gifted creatures on the planet. Ain't no reason we shouldn't accomplish whatever it is we set out to accomplish. The most gifted, most resilient, the most, any other adjective I, I can't think of right now. Yeah, I just told y'all I dropped out of school, college at least. So, but we just got to want it though. I talk to so many people who say they, they, they have all these goals and aspirations and then you can give them the blueprint on the platter and they don't want to do the work that got to stop y'all and that's why this time like even during this time we should be using this time to to build up our conditioning of of hard work like whether it's reading uh you know learning different strategies finding other streams of income whatever it is i'm telling you like we have to get rid of the excuses. We have to. Had a cousin of mine a couple days ago call me with an excuse. I just hung up on him. I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't deal with low frequency stuff. <laughs> like anybody that know me, they know I deal in frequency. If you have a low frequency, I do not rock with you on a personal level. Business wise, we could talk all day. I give you as much game as possible that you're willing to accept. That's the thing. Some people are not willing to accept the game. And that's okay. You know, I'm going to tell y'all something. This is a true story. Some of y'all might laugh at this. All right. So I remember I was at a networking event. This was a few months ago. Yeah, I got that one from you, Eric. True story. <laughs> I was at a networking event a few months back. And I asked somebody what their goal was. What, what were their goals? And they got offended. Like, that's low frequency. I don't play in that arena. I only play in the high frequency. And when I'm talking about high frequency, I'm talking about people who are trying to move the needle forward, whether it's within their life, with their family, with their goals, like whatever the case may be. 
And so, again, I'm going to share this one last time, and then I'm going to hop off here because it's been a long day. I've been shooting videos all day, losing my voice, and I'm hungry. Uh, let's use this time wisely, y'all. Again, if one more grown adult sends me a message and say they're bored, I'm sending you to collections. <laughs> Not that I can do that, but if I had the power, I would. Like we like this this will never ever in our lives now I get it. I know we're dealing with catastrophe, but there's always you know, there's all something good always comes out of situations like this. But it's up to us to make that situation what it is. We have to let's use this time to work on self. Let's quarantine our minds. Again, we got to change our mindset about a lot of shit. I apologize about my my language. I sometimes tend to let those slip. My mama got on me a couple weeks ago. Like, boy, you got shit in your book. Like, well, you proofread it. You should have crossed it out. But <laughs> I say that that to say, we let's use this time wisely, y'all, for real. Like, I want to see all of us win. Like we 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 we're too brilliant of a people, we're too brilliant of a community, or too brilliant of a culture to sit around and say we bored. You know, let's understand you can't have the summer body by not working in the winter. You can't have the summer bank account by not putting in the work in the winter. All right. So again, family, I appreciate y'all. Again, this is really just a condensed version. I really didn't, you know, have much to say. I am going to go live again tomorrow when I drop the course. So one more time, y'all, make sure you guys are uh, tuned in tomorrow. I'm dropping my 30-day do-it-yourself credit repair challenge. It is kid-friendly. Kennedy, what's going on? And I owe you a follow-up. I didn't forget about you. I looked at the houses and evaluated them, so I got you. Um, uh, yeah, so the 30-day do-it-yourself credit repair challenge uh, it's kid friendly. I'm telling you, you guys do not want to. You guys definitely want to take advantage of this. Whether you went through uh, credit mastery, RBCs, like this is a course you definitely want to keep handy. Uh, have for your family. Like you literally can have the the kids sitting around and all taking them through this course. Because I'm gonna tell you, one thing that we do not take advantage of is we don't. We and I'm not saying us. I'm talking about as a community. We don't really. Put our kids up on game. Like, we just buy them Jordans and take pictures of them and think we're great parents. Like, it got to be so much more than that. Like, we really need to be getting this information and instilling this into our heirs. I'm telling y'all, this is why, you know, and I, I can only speak for myself. This is why I give you guys so much content. As long as I'm breathing, nobody could ever say that, you know, Will Roundtree hasn't contributed to, you know, as 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 King Tony said, moving the needle forward. I'm I'm going to give y'all everything I got while I'm here. And so just make sure that you know, we don't take this information for granted because I'm telling y'all, it's not going to stay like this forever. Like this is really a 911 call, y'all, if you know, if you're not hearing this in my in my tone this is a 911 call we need to get our stuff together because it is not going to be this easy forever it's not going to be as accessible forever we're all starting to see how important credit is right now i'm telling you we're all starting to see how important uh having access to to capital king tyrone what's up man is because you know, in situations and scenarios, we want to make sure that we're prepared. And that's really what everything I've always talked about is about positioning and preparing ourselves. Because if this goes on another month, another two, it could be detrimental for a lot of people. But I always tell people that when I moved to Las Vegas, I didn't know anybody. Um I literally, and I, I'm, I tell the story all the time because I never assume everybody knows the story. I had 500 bucks that I borrowed in a garbage bag full of clothes. Now, my situation was messed up, like real bad. 
But I kept myself so mentally busy focusing on what my end goal was. I didn't have time to think about me being broke. Like, and this is why I'm always telling people why we got to get the information. Because I had a million dollar mindset. I just had to have the bank account catch up with my mind. But that's because I was in the trenches focusing on getting the information. I wasn't sitting back dwelling, saying, oh, why me? Why did why did I not make it to the top? Why am I not in position? Why am I'm homeless? Why cannot not why can I not find a good job? Like instead I said, you know what? I'm going to use all these things as reasons on why I'm going to work harder. I'm going to stay up later. I'm going to go to the library and read the books. I'm going to, you know, invest in these courses. I'm going to drive across state line to go to this workshop. Like I did everything I had to do to get the information to position myself. Did everything pan out or anything like that? No, it didn't. But I took a piece of something from every little thing that I involved myself with. And so I say that because sometimes people will, you know, uh, invest in something. And because they didn't become a millionaire, they think it's a scam. No, you, you just didn't do enough. For, you didn't do enough work. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I understood that as long as I stay consistent, it was inevitable that I would be successful. It was inevitable that I'll hit my goals. Like, that's the type of mindset you need to have. Like, Teflon. Like, like, I can remember when I left my uh, the, my nine to five the first time because I had to do it twice. I messed up. I needed a mulligan for those who know golf. I left corporate America the first time. And I remember one of my managers said, you'll be back. And I said, no, I won't because I'm, I'm, I'm betting on myself. See, I was never here for the paycheck per se. I was here for the information. Even though the company paid me, I like I didn't do it for the check because I was taking most of that money, of course, paying my bills, taking care of the family. But I was dumping that into my business because I bet on myself. That's the type of mindset you need to have. Like when you get to that point in life, it's nothing you will never be able to accomplish. Is that a double negative? Nothing. you. It's nothing you can't accomplish. Like that's the type of mindset you have to have. Like. The burning desire to where if you if both legs was broke, you still going to go out to the conference. And I'm saying that l literally, you know, I remember when I used to play basketball and I remember one time you know, I was crossing somebody up or at least I thought I was crossing them up and I sprained my ankle. Didn't want to come out the game. So kept playing, sprained the other ankle, sprained both ankles in one game. Guess what? I kept playing. That's like, but that's the type of drive I've always had. Anybody who knew me growing up, growing up, they knew you can't just, will is not just going to lay down, you know? And that's how I've always lived my life when it comes to my goals. I'm relentless. When I told them at my job that I will be leaving here soon, I'm leaving here soon, okay? I'm leaving here soon. Now, I ain't crossed myself up, Jess. I'm, I'm telling you, I was nice with The Rock. All right, I'm going to find one of my old videos. But you're going to have to, you're going to need a VCR to watch it. Because <laughs> we didn't have DVDs back then. Uh, might need a Betamax for some of y'all who are old enough to know what that is. Uh, one thing people will tell you about me. When I was growing up, like, if it was something I wanted, I went for it. I didn't care what people had to say. I didn't care what the cost was. When I say cost, I'm talking about my time, my like whatever, like you have to be so sick and tired and sick and tired of your current situation. Even if that's physically, I got tired of taking three steps up the flight of stairs and getting tired. I had to change how I ate working. like same thing with, 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 with finances. I got tired of it being more month at the end of my money. Like, I got tired of that. And so just understand, y'all, like, I just want us to use this time to really focus and develop our mental toughness, develop our mindset, uh, develop whatever skills you may need to get better. Let's come out of this bigger, badder, stronger, uh, 
all those things that we need to be more proficient at whatever it is we're trying to do. And I promise you, I promise you, we will come out of this on top. You know, I think uh, uh, I saw something on Facebook today and I'm paraphrasing. I think, Ames, you had posted this, that uh, all nightmares eventually end. And so when we wake up from this quote unquote nightmare, you got to be ready because guess what? Life is not going to stop. So I'm going to leave y'all with that family, man. I appreciate y'all again. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow uh, for the launch of this course. I'm extremely excited. It's interactive. You're going to have a login portal. It's going to be a student community, all that fun stuff. So y'all definitely don't want to miss it. Uh, I need everybody. When I post it, I need all. I'm, a, I'm calling on y'all. I usually don't ask for favors. Anybody that know me, I'm Justice. He'll tell you, King Just. I could need five dollars for some gas and I'll tell them, no, I don't need it. And if I run out of gas, I'll push the car myself. Like I'm one of those, but I need y'all when I post tomorrow, I need everybody to repost it. This is the type of stuff we need to go viral. All right. We need this to go viral. So I need, I need all y'all let's repost it, support the King. Cause I'm gonna continue to support y'all. Uh, and, uh, man, I'll talk to y'all soon tomorrow. Again, I'm going live and then Sunday, 2 PM, Pacific Standard Time, I'm going live with my sis, J-Star, uh, the most recognized, the most famous barber in the entire world, globally recognized. I'm telling y'all, y'all definitely don't want to miss it. She got Not only do she got a dope story, but I'm talking about serial entrepreneur and been in the game a long time, all right? So family, I appreciate y'all, appreciate the support, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. All right, peace.